Voice of Indonesia from Indonesia to the world. Welcome back to me, Ahmad Faisal, at the program of special interview. Well, do you know that Indonesia and Belgium have a very strong relations and even the two countries until now still significantly develop their relations. And today we have special guest. He is Belgian ambassador to Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Frank Felix. And we are going to interview him related to celebrating 75 years of diplomatic relations between Indonesia and Belgium. How are you today, Your Excellency, Mr. Franz Felix? I am very fine and uh, thank you for having me. I'm very honored to be here. Nice to see you again today at the studio of Voice of Indonesia. Always a pleasure to come here. <laughs> well, we would like to uh, extend our congratulations to both nations, Indonesia and Belgium, on the milestone of 75 years of diplomatic relations. In your view, what is the most uh, significant aspect that uh, deserves special attention in this year's celebration? There are so many aspects, but I think the most important is uh, to see this as, as indeed a big milestone. Uh, not many people know this, but Belgium was, was one of the very first European countries to recognize Indonesia's uh, independence. Mm. Uh, so we are very proud of that, that our relations or indeed even longer than uh, most other countries. But what uh, strikes mm. me the most is the people-to-people -people contacts yes. that uh, exist between the peoples of both wow. Indonesia and Belgium. <coughs> They have increased during these 75 years enormously. Uh, we see ever more business people mm. going in both direction. We see tourists that are traveling more and more. I'm so pleased when I go to Brussels mm -hmm. or any of our cities uh, to see Indonesian tourists, uh, Indonesian visitors uh, that I didn't see many years ago. Mm. Uh, students also, we have ever, ever more Indonesian students studying at Belgian universities mm -hmm. and coming back uh, to Indonesia uh, to, to share uh, all the, the experience and the knowledge that they got in Belgium. Just last week we had in uh, my residence here in Jakarta mm. a meeting with the alumni from alumni. the uh, Belgian universities, all the Indonesian. And then you see how many uh, wow. of them uh, came and are bringing up memories from their uh, time in, uh, in Belgium. Even very important people mm. in today's government studied in Belgium, like mm. uh, His Excellency Minister Roslan Ruslani mm -hmm. uh, did his studies in the city of Antwerp. And there are many more, uh, the, the time is probably too short to mention them all. But these people-to-people -people contacts are, mm. for me, the most significant part of uh, the celebration of uh, 75 years of diplomatic relations. Wow, fascinating. Mm. <laughs> well, we, we know that, yes, uh, every year, uh, Indonesian people and also uh, people of Belgium, uh, they visit uh, two countries, Indonesia to Belgium, Belgium to Indonesia. Uh, I believe that uh, the tourists also uh, have their own ways on how to build people-to-people -people contacts. I mean, in this case, are there another effort, Your Excellency? In this case, your uh, the embassy, I mean, Indonesian embassy also, uh, the government of Belgium in Belgium, I mean, when they all like to make such activities in uh, embassy, the country, I mean, the government of Belgium also uh, develop or, I mean, say, like, uh, giving uh, support for the con by, by, uh, people to be contact in this case. Absolutely. Um, that's actually our, our main course of action. Mm. Uh, we do promote it and together indeed with the Indonesian embassy in Brussels and we are a bit lucky because uh, my country also hosts oh, okay. the uh, European Union headquarters mm. and that makes the uh, Indonesian embassy to Brussels one of their biggest in the world. Uh, and so many, many diplomats are uh, Indonesian uh, diplomats are serving mm -hmm. there and we have a lot of contacts with them. We develop a lot of activities uh, in the cultural field. Uh, uh, this year specifically, there is uh, Indonesian cultural uh, bands, uh, mm. both in music and in music. dance, that went to Belgium uh, to bring out uh, Indonesian culture to the Belgian people. Uh, we also have the only Indonesian themed uh, uh, park in, in, in Europe, in Europe. Uh, where there is an authentic Balinese temple, okay. uh, which is visited every year, not only by tens of thousands, if not to say hundreds of thousands of mm. tourists, but also many people from Indonesia come to look 
at a real uh, authentic uh, Indonesian temple in, uh, in Belgium. So all these things help to promote uh, understanding and contacts between people mm. uh, more than ever before. Okay, now let's turn to uh, talk about the economic sector, Your Excellency. Relations between Indonesia and Belgium have uh, progressed significantly, particularly in the trade and investment. And last year, in 2023, the total bilateral trade between the two countries reached nearly 2.31 billion US dollar. So what do you think about this, Your Excellency? Well, my first uh, reaction is it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that uh, the figures are every year growing, mm -hmm. but I would like to see them growing a lot more. And these figures are only the trade. Uh, they don't take into consideration the investments. Okay. So uh, we see a lot of Belgian companies uh, investing in Indonesia mm -hmm. more and more. And I think that's a very good uh, development also. It creates not only the trade, but it also makes permanent uh, presence of Belgian okay. companies here in Indonesia. Only this week on Friday, I will <laughs> go again to the opening of a new Belgian oh, company here in Jakarta. Mm -hmm. And multiple times a year, I am invited by Belgian companies who are or extending their activities here okay. of already existing investments or bringing new investments and in all fields of the economy. So that's uh, the interesting part. It's not only in one specific uh, uh, area, but they mm. are active from mining uh, to palm oil okay. to, to production of clothing, uh, sport goods uh, to high technology. Mm -hmm. So all this range of activities being exploited by Belgian companies mm. here in Indonesia. And I'm very happy about that. And I see also more and more Indonesian businessmen finding their way to Belgium. Uh, in our ports, we mm -hmm. see more and more ships coming from Indonesia, and not only with the traditional goods uh, that we were used to, palm oil remains, of course, a, a very, very important commodity between our two countries. But I see many others, fishing, for example, fishing. the fishing industry, we get so much uh, fresh fish from Indonesia, <coughs> or frozen fish, uh, that, that wasn't there before. Mm -hmm. uh, they usually come from other Asian countries, but now we see the Indonesian market is growing very mm -hmm. strongly. So I'm very happy. and I. My wish is that it would grow a lot faster than, uh, <laughs> as I said, when I just arrived here, I remember my very first conversation mm -hmm. with uh, then President Jokowi, who uh, mm -hmm. has now uh, uh, stepped down as, as president. Uh, but he asked me, what is your first priority? Mm -hmm. I said, it's the economy, Your Excellency. And he said, what would you like to see? Would you like to see the figures double? I said, that's not enough. I would like to see a triple. <laughs> uh, we are not yet there, uh, but we're on the good way. So let's hope uh, the, the figures keep uh, going in the mm -hmm. right direction. We are, being a small country, already the fifth biggest partner within the European Union uh, of Indonesia. And I would like to see that uh, figure grow because we are definitely not the fifth biggest <laughs> country in the European Union. Uh, but we stand out as a partner, and so uh, I want that uh, to grow and become more important in the future. Your Excellency, Indonesia, uh, until now, still um, developing uh, the new, what we call name Nusantara New Capital in Kalimantan. Uh, like you said before about, uh, I mean, the growing uh, investment in Indonesia, is it also related to uh, the development of Indonesian new uh, capital in Kalimantan? Yes, actually it is. Uh, there is uh, uh, several Belgian companies are already active mm. in Nusantara. Okay. Uh, one is in, in green planting. Green uh, planting. Yes, because this uh, Indonesia has decided that mm. Nusantara will become a green city. So that means also you need a plan uh, for the green development. Uh, and uh, some Belgian companies are already working in the issue. One is on uh, energy provision, energy. to make it uh, green, clean energy for the city, uh, for the electricity provision. The other is in planting bamboo. Bamboo. <laughs> bamboo. Uh, surprisingly enough, uh, bamboo is, is a very uh, uh, special product. Mm. Uh, and it's excellent to combat climate change. Oh, yes, uh, that, that's right. And uh, there is one Belgian company extremely active. They are oh. based in, in, in Jogjakarta, but they have activities not only in Indonesia, but worldwide. Worldwide. So they are exporting Indonesian bamboo mm -hmm. from little plants all over the world. And they are replanting wow. often places that are became a desert and they are making them green again with Indonesian uh, plants. And they are also active in Nusantara uh, to help, uh, you know, the planting of uh, bamboo to make it a perfectly green city with green energy. And I'm very proud that my country wow. is playing a part in that. Excellent. <laughs>
Your Excellency, Your Excellency, actually, how long have you been uh, in duty in Indonesia, actually? I've been here uh, a bit over two years. Mm. So that's uh, I'm about in the middle of my, my term, which is normally uh, four years for uh, for a Belgian ambassador. So this that's the most interesting period. Ah, what's because that? the first year you have to <laughs> learn, you know, you have to find out everything. But in the second year, you get to know a country deeply. Mm. And so the next few years, I can use all the knowledge that I build up for my relations but also what's uh, available in Indonesia, what's possible in Indonesia, and again, what's possible from Belgium to increase and uh, the, the relations between uh, both of our countries so on all the fields that uh, I have mentioned. So you have been here more than two years. I mean, uh, what about I mean tourism destination? Maybe what kind of tourism destination that you have already uh, visited in Indonesia, your Excellency? I think I visited almost all the tourist destinations wow. and even the non-tourist <laughs> ones. And I can see this country has so much potential. And it okay. it's sometimes uh, makes me a bit sad that most tourists, they limit their visits to mm. Bali. Now, don't get me wrong, Bali is a fantastic island with fantastic facilities and it's the ultimate holiday destination. But Indonesia has so much more to offer. If you go to uh, Labuan Bajo, for example, mm. Uh, to Komodo, uh, the, all the places in Java, Yogyakarta, mm. uh, east of Yogyakarta, the beautiful temples of Borobudur and, and Prambanan, but also Sumatra, I've been to North Sumatra visiting the natural uh, mm. resources there uh, with the orangutan uh, <laughs> reserves. Uh, I did the same in Kalimantan where you can go with little boats up the river and discover a completely unspoiled nature mm. with uh, unspoiled uh, fauna and flora. Why all these simply? things <laughs> all these things should also be discovered yes. uh, by by Belgian tourists and I I'm really uh, working together with my colleagues mm. from the Indonesian embassy in Brussels to promote other areas of Indonesia uh, that uh, they shouldn't go only to Bali mm. but see all the beautiful parts that this country has to offer. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, very happy that uh, <laughs> I can use my job as an excuse to visit all these places and enjoy them as a first. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that uh, tourism is also as what they call that uh, promising business <laughs> for two countries in order to, I can say, uh, to improve yeah, their uh, relations in this case. And talking about tourism, uh, tourists, I mean, uh, Indonesian tourists come to Belgium and Belgium, the tourists of, Bel I mean, people of Belgium also come yep. to Indonesia. So, I mean, how can uh, your country, I mean, your government promote uh, your tourism destination to not only Indonesian people in Belgium, also many people in around the world who visit uh, Belgium? Well, we have a very uh, long tradition in, in, in tourism. Uh, my country has the advantage of being small. Sorry, Jem? Being small. My country oh. is a, a small country. So if you stay any place in the country, within one hour drive, uh -huh. you will reach every corner of my country. And we have a lot of old medieval cities that have been perfectly preserved. Uh, there's a l very rich cultural life. So you can visit all these places and you don't have to travel too much. Mm. That's a big advantage that we have. Uh, second advantage that we have is that we are very centrally located in Western Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, so it means Paris, for example, the beautiful capital of France, is just one hour by train. To Amsterdam, it's one ah. and a half hour by train. To London, it's two hours by train. You don't even have to uh, take a plane or, 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 see, or, um, or uh, any other transport. So in a very comfortable way, you can visit my country and the surrounding <coughs> countries. And we see that uh, more and more Indonesian tourists are indeed discovering that mm -hmm. and are using uh, Belgium as their uh, base place uh, to visit uh, not only my country, but also the neighboring ones. And what the Belgian tourist is concerned, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the Belgian community in Indonesia, which is about 2000 people, uh, more than half of them work in the tourism sector. Mm. Uh, they are Most of them are working on the island of Bali and Lombok also, but also in Yogyakarta. And they are very much active in the hotel sector, in the tourism <laughs> sector, in the food sector. Uh, so uh, they know very well how to uh, deal with, uh, with tourists, both tourism. from Belgium and from any other country. Your Excellency, uh, you before mentioned about uh, you have already visited some Indonesian regions. Yeah? I believe that uh, you have already also tasted some traditional food. Can you mention about that? <laughs> yeah, th th that's the... Uh, 
the amazing part that you travel and you meet totally yes. different kitchens. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love to discover that. I mean, it's uh, something that I always look forward to when I go to mm -hmm. a new region, a new place. Uh, and I always ask the first thing, bring me to a local restaurant. Local I, restaurant. I, a local restaurant. And I want the local food, your specialities from ah. this region. And like that, I have discovered uh, very amazing and, and, and totally different kitchens in Kalimantan, for example. Uh, I have eaten food. I, I'm still not sure what I ate, <laughs> but it was delicious. Uh, in, in, in Sumatra, in Padang, for example, that's a kitchen I particularly like. Um, but I've, always, I've also been more to the east, uh, mm. in Flores Island, on, on Komodo, uh, where the kitchen is again totally mm. different. Um, even in, on the island of Java, I mean, the kitchen in Jakarta is very different yes. from the kitchen in Surabaya. Absolutely. And, and so I, I really love to discover these things. And I always insist uh, that uh, please, please make me local. Don't make me something that everybody likes, <laughs> the nasi goreng, which yes. by, I really love. But please make me something uh, that's extremely local. And uh, I enjoy that very much. But your excellency, most of Indonesian uh, traditional food, uh, I mean, are spicy. Do you like the spicy food? It was a learning curve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, my resistance mm. to spices has increased. Wow. Uh, when I first came, came here, I asked always, not spicy. Not because spicy. I knew that was already spicy <laughs> enough. And then I went slowly, you know, make it a little bit spicy. Mm. Uh, I'm not yet quite there at the Indonesian level. <laughs> uh, I might never get there. Uh, but I do eat it, I think, at least uh, two, three times more spicy mm. than uh, in the beginning. And I see that when I get visitors from my country, when they come and they usually follow me, I said, you should be careful with the spicy. And they say, oh, no, if you can eat it, we surely can. Well, I can tell you mostly they cannot. <laughs> so it needs some time and adjustment. Uh, but yeah, I've come to uh, uh, use much more uh, spice and, and chili in my uh, in my food and I, I really enjoy it because it, it, it perfectly matches with mm. the food. So what is the name of food that you really love it and really when you hear or know or can listen about, I mean, the, the name of food, it can also uh, make you feel to try again. Oh, the, then there are everything that has to do with seafood. That, oh, seafood. That, that always <laughs> you can convince me because you have such a variety in seafood. Mm. I'm used to uh, other countries where you have three, four different uh, fishes or mm -hmm. and, and they are not bad. And here in Indonesia, you have like hundreds of different ones. <laughs> so I don't think I tasted all of them. So that's that's uh, the one thing that I always ask for mm -hmm. is to have uh, at least uh, a dish with uh, seafood that always get my mouth watering. <laughs> well, for Indonesians uh, residing in Belgium who miss traditional cuisine, there are cafes and restaurants such as uh, Cafe Batavia in Brussels that offer authentic Indonesian dishes. For Belgians living in Indonesia, is it easy to find Belgian cuisine? Yes, surprisingly enough it is. Uh, <laughs> And that's not in every country the case, but here in Jakarta, for mm -hmm. example, there are five restaurants that offer Belgian food. Mm -hmm. uh, they are the Koi restaurants, they have four of them, and there's also Le Quartier, which is a bit more upscale uh, restaurant. They are giving fantastic uh, Belgian food, I see. and they are uh, very popular uh, with Indonesian people. So that makes me happy because <laughs> I, by definition, go and eat there quite often. But I can see that 95% of the clients are Indonesian. So I'm happy that the Belgian kitchen is like that also brought to the Indonesian people. We have a few dishes, of course, that are <laughs> worldwide known. Uh, the fries, which is uh, very, very popular in Belgium, uh, but also uh, many, many other dishes. And we can see that they are uh, extremely popular with Indonesian people. So even maybe when you are homesick or I can say, what's that, miss your country, you only visit the restaurants. Yeah, it takes a three-minute drive from my office. Uh, yes. so uh, near. To when I'm craving <laughs> for some Belgian food, I really don't have to go far. Great. <laughs> Only on foot? Uh, no, three. it's by car. Same, but, okay. uh, yeah, by foot, it's 10 minutes, so it's still okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question, Your Excellency. Uh, so what uh, is your expectation, I mean, during the commemoration, I can say for 75 years, diplomatic relations between Indonesia and Belgium in the future? Well... We have together with the Indonesian Embassy in Brussels, when we were thinking mm -hmm. of the logo, 
that we would combine oh. to you. So we have a logo uh, which says 75 with the flags of both countries that we developed together. Mm -hmm. But we were also looking for a catchy title. And we found the catchy title is we are 75 years in uh, diplomatic relations, mm. but we're going towards a centenary. We are going towards a hundred. And I think we look at the future. We don't want to look only backwards uh, to what we have achieved, mm. but we mainly look what we can achieve over the next 25 years up to the 100 years of relations. And that is the main element, I think, uh, by these people-to-people -people contacts, by the increasing business contacts in academics, in uh, cultural life, in every uh, field of cooperation, to look forward to the future. Uh, and that's why I'm so happy with these young Indonesian students studying in Belgium. Oh, they come back and actually they take over part of my job. Wow. I am the official ambassador of Belgium, but they are also all uh, in themselves a bit the ambassadors of my country because uh, most come back with very good memories and they uh, tell that to their family, their friends, their business uh, contacts. And so uh, I think this... Uh, this people-to-people -people relations and this view towards the future, I think that's the main thing to remember from the 75 years. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your time and attention. Mm -hmm. And we hope that uh, the relations between Indonesia and Belgium will be much stronger, stronger and better in the future. I hope so too. And uh, thank you for listening to me. And uh, we can only look forward to uh, more and better uh, relations between our two great nations. Okay, well, listener, that was our special interview with Belgian ambassador to Indonesia, His Excellency, Mr. Frank Felix. I'm Anu Faisal. Thank you very much and bye-bye.